हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द स्किल्स विजन और आज हम लोग फिर से खेलने जा रहे हैं हॉगवर्ड्स लाइक्स लास्ट टाइम हम लोगों ने एक मिशन छोड़ दिया था जो कि था ड्रैगन का एग वापस करना समटाइम्स इट सीम्स ऑल रोड्स लीड टू हॉगमीड वो पी से मिलना था हमें हम अब मिलने जा रहे हैं सो लेट्स गो वो कहीं पर है बट दिख नहीं रही है I didn't keep you waiting, did I? <coughs> Not at all. You I was just at the post office. Gran just told me to me. expect yeah. a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. Just made me to She didn't send me an owl this week so either. Well. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. She's smart. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Should we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on, and she's likely frantic about her egg. चलो तो हम उस ड्रैगन को जो हमने बचाया था, वो जो ट्रेलर में भी था। Here we are. Dragon. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and locked her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. You're making this sound simple. But this is a dragon after all. Hebrides can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught on quickly enough when you showed her how to escape the tent. She'll understand why we're here once she sees her egg. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Revelio. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Revelio. Poor thing must be worried sick. 
sick, wondering what happened to her egg. Revelio. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays up. At least until we've done what we came to do. Rebellion. How many they brought to capture? At least ten, usually. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. Revelio. Rebellion. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Revelio. Watch your step. Revelio. Pity. She must have been starved. Or just raring for a fight. Draw her attention. Follow when it's safe.
Revelio. Watch out, it's her domain. She'll make sure. Keep at it. We've just got to make it to the next. Oh, she is making it easy. A warm welcome. It's a little too warm if you ask me. Jokes <laughs> my I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Revelio. There's the nest. We're almost there. Why is every bridge here broken? Repairer. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. What's that thing? Oh, I got that knocked off. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. I wonder how long she lived here, or where she'll go now. <sighs> Revelio.
Revelio. Third guess is on. That's a door to fill. Revelio. Revelio. I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in? No. I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Horntail Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. What's going on, brother? Now everything is fine. This would use phone. <coughs> I'll say Bezna Bhati Purana Jamanda Kani. How could I have been so blind? Spare a canat, a sickle, a galley. Revelio. Hey, Poppy, kida ja rahi hai? Let's see. Kabi ja ke gaib ho jayegi. पूरा पैदल जाते हुए दिखेगी ये पैदली जाएगी भाई। 
take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. <coughs> तो गैस हैंड में देख लेके हैंड में दोस You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Revelio. Meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. अब ज्यादातर चीजें दूर ही दूर हो रही हैं हॉगवर्ट से फॉरबिडन फॉरेस्ट के आसपास सारी चीजें हो रही हैं अब उस साइड तो नहीं उस साइड नहीं है उस साइड से माउंटेन्स ही हैं अ 
nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Imperial. Let's have a look, shall we? So nice of you to stop by. Revelio. Revelio. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Ertgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I would have help from a witch or wizard. But he had no choice. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's. Renowned metal worker, if we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. 
Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I am. Um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. Revelio. about. You'll see. The door is looking at us. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. Rebellion. Real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Yes, of course. Rebellion. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Can Impressive freak. workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Revelio. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. I've read about minds like this, but seeing one is something else Back altogether. Here. I'll meet you'll need to stay close to me. 
I've dealt with worse enemies than these. Revelio. Matter of time till Ranrock sets things right. Someone's here. Rather up one. Italy diverted. That was a little more than I'm used to. I'll get us through here safely, I'll meet. You have my word. Revelio. We're being watched by a door. We won't get through as long as we can be seen by that eye. I should use disillusionment. That I won't see a thing. Revelio. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. You could judge even that circuit. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. schematic they're building something i can't quite make it out curious i will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here Revelio. Revelio. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Revelio.
Right. Don't wish to be seen. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? There must be more nodes around here. What could they be building? It won't be long <laughs> now before we find another repository. Sub <laughs> level, Much worse. Another boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Revelio. Another schematic. What are they doing? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Incendio! Revelio! I wonder if the boiler powers the lever. I suspect it must. Revelio. The boiler activated that handle. See it? I know, brother. But we need money for the people. We will do it in the visiting world. We will do it. First... दोस्त देख तो नहीं क्या हो रहा है क्या नहीं है छूट तो नहीं रहा रवैलियो I see Akio should easily engage the handle Akio Devil snare. Nasty stuff if we're not careful. Not an entanglement we need right now. Incendio. Plants could they be other? And I'll be that. Revelion Incendio I'm quite good 
it sneaking about. You'll see. Revelio. Be the last of them, I'll meet. Revelio. Rebellion. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgott what we found. Incendio. Revelio.
I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift! A welcome sight indeed. Revelio. Um, can we please talk about what just happened? Um, can we please talk about what just happened? <laughs> That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. <coughs> now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. A B, yeah. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research. And I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. 
we parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Renrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals. But the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Revelio. Brilliant. और ये फेक विंडो सीख लेते हैं ना चलो लास्ट पर सीखना है और वो चलते हैं तो बस पैसे कितने हैं बढ़िया पैसे ज्यादा अच्छे हैं तो मैं वो ऑक्स मिट जाके आता हूं Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade?
Pardon me? Might I ask a favor of you? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. <laughs> Hello, is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Sacharissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, Boobachuba pus. Boobachubas do grow in the Forbidden Forest, however. <laughs> if only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. What precisely are Boobachubas? Disgusting things, really. Covered in protrusions. One needs to squeeze them to collect the pus. They smell simply awful and seem to move on their own. Ugh, I wouldn't go near the things if it weren't for my devotion to my classmates. How on earth did you discover that Booba Tuba Pass clears one's skin? One cannot rely on spells for all appearance enhancements. The errant cast, for example, could relocate one's eyebrows entirely rather than merely thinning them. My darling and now perpetually surprised-looking neighbour discovered that on her own. Poor thing. I am convinced that beauty potions are the future. I'm forever looking for ways to make this world a more beautiful place. I suspected that if pure booba chuba pus could cause boils, an altered form would likely reverse such abominations. And I was correct. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few booba chubas, but they grow wild. So you'll have to look around. Our spotty classmates are counting... Sakarissa, what did you ask me to do again? Gather booba troopers from the Forbidden Forest for my new pimple cream formula. <coughs> okay, to me personally, I guess.
चेंजेस किए थे मैंने Flux speed. Squat at them. Yeah, we are fine here. Oh. <laughs> 
Ash. Nothing to identify, for now at least. Okay, we are good. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. Yeah, okay. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. He's he's been cursed. He ignored my warning, and now he's lying in St. Mungo's cursed. looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well... It is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about <coughs> some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that were possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, <coughs> so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. Hey, yeah, look,
तरना नहीं था बस लेना था मुझे क्वेस्ट क्लास में जाओ क्लास में Perhaps a hybrid, bouncing tentacular. I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. <coughs> I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flipendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing is mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. <laughs> you practice such maneuvers in a more secluded location rebellion this ko bhi atraz rahi hai ki mere ko usko chalaya yaar mujh ko nahi chalaya isliye maine chalaya rebellion The greenhouse won't keep itself in order without a nudge from me. Professor, I was wondering where you're from. What's your background? Oh, how nice of you to ask. Well, let's see. I grew up in London, right on the Thames. That sounds lovely. All the sights and bustle of a city. To some, yes. I used to dream of living in the country, but it wasn't until I came to Hogwarts that I felt truly at home. Mind you, it did take some time, and whilst it is my fervent hope that each student eventually feels as at home here as I do, it is not always the case. I suppose that makes sense. Well, we each bloom differently, don't we? Some of us, like Devil's Snare, thrive in the shadows, whilst others crave the attention of a bouncing bulb. And we each grow and thrive according to our own plan. Oh, I was terribly nervous when I arrived at the castle. You see, as a child, I knew nothing of witches or wizards. You can imagine how astonished I was to receive my letter from Hogwarts. I spent a good deal of time alone in either the greenhouse or the library my first days here. It does take a while to adjust to being here. Precisely, and I was remarkably fortunate. In fact, a seventh year took me under her wing during those first days. She remains one of my dearest friends. How fortunate. I was indeed. I dare say you'll find that the friends you make here at Hogwarts will last a lifetime. Now, I'd best get to my recent delivery from the Magic Neep. Mr. Teasdale promised me quite an assortment of seeds this week. Lovely to see you. करते हैं बात में तुम्हारी तो विपंडो सीख लिया हम लोगों ने और कोई पहले बचा नहीं सीखने को ऑफिस से बात करते हैं आई थिंक इसका ये कॉपी हाउस कॉल क्या कॉल है इसका हाउस का एंड फिर नेक्स्ट में हम लोग करेंगे ये बाहर में
चलो पापी से मिलते हैं लेट्स गो कम ऑन हाई वेंग Slow down now. There we go. Oh good, you're safe. I should dismount here. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Hauntel Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why would snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the snidgets if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies, others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much. Merlin's beard. You're a genius. The centaurs, they'd want the snidgets protected at all costs. Centaurs aren't known for being the friendliest lot, especially not with wizard kind and not right now. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. तो ठीक है गाइज आज के बस इतना ही मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में तब तक ये टेक केयर गुड नाइट पीस आउट